I regularly use the bus. I love walking down the street and connecting convenient bus routes and seeing places I wouldn't normally visit. Los Angeles is huge, but I'm not trying to romanticize the bus either. Uh, you probably won't get your bus seat partners to lovers trope. Sometimes the bus smells like piss or the driver makes literal eye contact with you when you've been waiting at the bus stop for 20 minutes and then skips you. So ultimately, the bus is just another method of transportation. I just hate them bitches that shit on it entirely. For a lot of people, the bus is their go-to. So just stop bagging on people that use it. Waiting for the bus. Bye. It's really windy. It's so cold. It's really cold. Uh, <laughs> the vibe. The vibe is golden. For a while, the bus was my go-to. Um, just because my parents didn't really let me get my driver's license in high school, and now that it's summer, and that I'm 19 and I'm on fire, I'm 19 and I'm on fire, and that my aunt is gifting me her old car, I want to drive now. I come fluttering in front of Valentine, can never stop me, no, 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 no. Guess who got her permit? Music. <laughs> um, so two days ago, I took my behind the wheel driving exam at the DMV. And I failed. Whoa, that was... Okay, going into it, I was definitely nervous. But I was also like, okay, I'm just ready to pass. Like, I just want to finally finish with this process. But during the exam, I made one critical error, which was like a line violation. And I remember feeling so defeated, um, upset, and mad at myself. Like, this was entirely my fault. And... I just felt so dumb and like stupid and like just it was just a waste like like going home I was like so sad so sad um and I I know that like you can retake it and I know that's pretty common for people to do so but for me I was more upset about the fact that I had already put in so much time and money into my lessons into practicing and like also relying on other people to help me practice I felt like I just let everyone down especially, and I let myself down too so it's just a very like this is a losing moment y'all like what's going on but yeah at this point I don't know when I'm retaking the exam um yeah so that was just like that's an update peep the new earrings peep the new piercing yeah anyways so after I failed the exam in October I did not like touch a steering oh! I didn't practice driving again until like winter break this winter break and so I took the exam second time attempt um, three days ago on Tuesday at a different DMV and I fucking failed again and it was the same critical error lane violation just in a different context like what is she doing a no way that I messed this up a second time. That's ridiculous. So I wasn't really like internalizing how sad the whole thing was. I was more just like, eh, like I'm tired of this y'all. But basically that happened. And then I ended up rescheduling my third attempt. Third attempt, mm, the day right after, yes. And I guess like the stakes felt a little bit higher cause if you fail the exam three times, you have to restart the whole like written like getting your permit process all over again and i was like y'all i'm so broke like that is my biggest concern truly and so i didn't want to do that for the third exam um i took it on wednesday and it was chill it went okay and i passed it didn't really feel so celebratory it was more just like bruh finally i can't believe this part of the process took me this long like I was getting tired of myself for real but i'm glad it's over and that now i can like from this point on work on like registering for um the cat and that's that's what's up yeah we take things and 
my influence so far. And then it's out of my hands. And, you know, while, as I said, it, it can be scary, it can also be a little bit comforting because I've learned that when I get to that point and I can acknowledge, okay, you know, Audrey, that's as much as you can do, I can actually let it go. the new hair okay i just okay so my tita transferred the car title to me back in february and i bought car insurance in early may so officially i've been driving for like a little over two months now and i gotta say biggest takeaway it is so mundane and so normal like it's so regular schmegular that it's like oh yeah like i drive and it just feels like kind of anticlimactic not gonna lie but it's that but I think what I was most excited about with it was the independence. You know, like I can go to a cafe by myself. I can control my music, just have my own space, you know, like fucking drive to Target to get frozen chicken pot pie for my dinner while like blasting 1989 with the windows down. Like I literally did that two days ago. But basically all I'm trying to say is like, it all comes down to choices and I have so many of them. I don't know, it feels like this overarching departure from a life of passivity and instead living a life of intention, branching out, fucking around and finding out, but in a good way. Uh, okay. Instead of living life in my head about like the what ifs, I'm out here in the present doing the damn thing. The what is. That also sounded a lot cooler when I wrote it down in my little script thing, but saying it out loud sounds really, really dumb, but oh well. Yeah, so with this whole idea of choice and control, I shall now finally introduce my car. So this is her, Solana, named after the brilliant ethereal goddess SZA. My dream for my first car, only thing was that it had to be a Toyota, so check. But even beyond that, like we're both 20 years old, we're both kind of brown, and we're both Asian. Twin them. I tried not to talk about the shit that's always on my mind Money on my mind, couple hundreds at a time Try to fuck me blind, ducking down, hear me whine We outside now, milk carton in the back We don't like to fuck around with the niggas in the back Pulling triggers in the lack, made the praise stay bad Hey dad, Hercules won't his fucking ways bad, stay strapped Dancing like a bad bitch, love on top of my mattress Hope the good lord catch this, I ain't telling backwards Lies is like an actor, Hollywood is bad shit Mama in the south still, gold all in my mouth so I've been making this video for like over a year now. Like it took me the longest to make this video. It was around the time that I failed the exam twice when I just didn't want to do this video anymore. Uh, I would watch it over and over again, just be like, why am I still doing this? But I don't know, I really like part four car so, so much. And also I'm kind of recovering from being sick this past week or so. So my voice sounds really cool. So I decided to finally just finish this freaking video up. Yo, I don't know what this is. Okay. When I was still learning how to drive, I kept reinforcing the idea that I'd, it'd be easier for me to just give up rather than wasting people's time, my money, and my hope. And that I was not worth the, the energy because I was just so not good. But I'm embracing the fact that my tiny mistakes, my mistakes, are okay. Um, like, why did I expect relentless perfection from myself at all times? That is ridiculous. There are people out there who want to see me thrive and are looking out for my safety. And I am doing the same. And I'm in the process of forgiving myself more and hyper-criticizing myself less. Um, I know it's so easy to regress back to that old destructive way of thinking, but the pain that subsides when I'm confident when I'm calm, when I'm real with myself, I'm reminded that I'm better than that. Wow, that took me so long to say! You know, I used to say to myself as a joke, like, I'm so capable, like it helped me do something big or whatever. But now when I'm in the process of change, I do say it with intention. I am so capable. To the lovely people that are watching this, 
Thank you. You are so cool and so capable. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.